In this tutorial video, we're going to learn how to create a custom page template in the Nanja LMS. First, let's define what a template is. Creating a custom page template allows you to format a course page exactly the way you want. That formatting can then be applied to any course you like. They are customizable and can include the course title, user information, instructor information, images, and more. Templates allow for consistency between courses and are useful for branding and for including exactly the information you want to show on the page. To create a new template, start by clicking Courses from the sidebar. Then click Templates. This page will show you any templates you have already created. To create a new template, click Create New Template at the top of the page. This menu allows you to define some basic information about the template. This can be changed later in the editor. First, type the name of the new template. Then, select the type of template from the list. The options are Title Pages, Layouts, Images, or Custom Pages. You can also select Other for no specific type to be applied. Finally, select the theme for this template. Selecting one of the theme options will only allow this template to work in courses with that particular theme already applied. Selecting Use with any theme will allow the template to work with any theme. Now click Create Template to finish. You will be taken directly to the template editor. The template editor is very similar to the course editor that is used to create courses. Text and content can be added in the same way on a template page as on a page in a course. The template editor does have a couple of different features that are useful in creating a template page. The first is the token menu. Clicking the drop down next to Tokens will show this list. Tokens are placeholders that can be added to a template page. For example, if you added the course title token to the page, you will simply see Title written on this page. But once this template is applied to a particular course, the course title token will be replaced with the actual course title. Similarly, if you added the user's first name token, it will simply say John on this page as an example. But when a student opens a course with this template applied, they will see their own name instead. Tokens are the best way to keep information on a template page, as the fields will change automatically without any editing required from the administrator. Another important placeholder to keep in mind is the body placeholder. This is added by clicking Body from the toolbar. When a template is applied to a page with content already on it, that content will be placed within the body placeholder. The new tokens that have been placed before the body placeholder will stay above it, and any below will also stay below no matter the page the template is applied to. Finally, let's look at the upper menus. Clicking Save will save your template and add it to the templates list where it can be accessed and edited later. Clicking Preview opens a window containing a preview of the page as it might appear to a student. Clicking Details opens the menu that allows you to change the title, type, and theme of the template. Be sure to click Set Name if you've made any changes. Clicking Delete will delete this template. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this tutorial on creating a new template. Be sure to check out the Ninja Tutorial page to learn more.